And when you tell your family that, hey, we're changing our life. We're changing how we walk because God has given me a new spirit. I don't want the TV. We're not going to drink. We can't be around it. Hey, I've decided we will not drink. I've decided we will not be around it. It's worthy of being kicked out of a church if you're, if you're a brother and you're known as a drunk. So when I come to my family's house and it's Thanksgiving time or Christmas time and then all of a sudden it's like, well, break out the beer. It's like, I'm on the road. Bye. Yeah. I'm done. And you may have to make a division, a hard cutoff at some point and say, hey, whoa, they show up and you guys are drunk? We're going to the Golden Corral for dinner. Sorry, we're not coming here. I mean, seriously, it's better to let them know, to have this sit down, have an intervention in advance and say, listen, I'm teaching my children that drinking is wrong, it's wicked, people get possessed by the devil and make mistakes that ruin their entire lives. Oh, yes. They say stupid stuff and I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want them to see grandma and grandpa that way. I don't want them to see uncle so-and-so this way. So if you could, don't drink until, give us until 5 o'clock. And then we're out of there and you can do whatever you want. But I'm telling you right now, if we show up and, and there's anybody drinking, we're going home. Yeah, right. I don't want my kids to smell it. I don't want to hear the stupid stuff that comes out of people's mouths. We're going to make a difference because we love God and we want to be righteous. Amen. We're going to raise our children right. And listen, the Bible teaches that we should be separate from sinners. Even in the Bible, like I said, at church separation in 1 Corinthians 5, it begins to deal with these things. There are certain things. A man that's a railer, a drunkard, a fornicator, an extortioner. You know, we're not even to company with these people. But the reason was that they kicked them out so they would get it right, so they would be restored back again. Yeah. And if you have a family member that's saved, and they're there, well, I just drink a little, and you say, hey, you know what? I love you, but I hate drinking. We're not coming over if you're drinking, period. And then maybe they'll begin to get it right. Maybe the Lord will work through that and it'll hit their heart. And you know what? i got to get this right. I will get it right. Maybe you, through taking a stand and being separate, can help restore your family to the will of God. 